Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ung Studio and today we're going to be making an acrylic tulip light. This project builds off of some of the ideas from my previous project where I made a funnel light using wood. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check that one out first and then you watch this one after. I'm building off of the idea of having a circular frame and taking panels and slotting them in at an angle so that when you look directly at this light fixture, you won't see the light bulb directly unless you're looking at the far right of that particular light. For this project, I'll be using this really nice acrylic that I have. It's frosted on one side and the other side is just clear. You can see it better here in this shot where you can see this side is the clear side reflecting light and this side is the frosted side. What this does is it actually diffuses light that passes through the material. To attach all of the panels to the circular frames, I'll be using this glue here called MaxiCure from Bob Smith Industries. If you haven't seen my previous video where I show you how I make an acrylic barrel light fixture, I highly recommend you check that video out first where I talk a little bit more about the different types of glue that you could potentially use to make a project like this out of acrylic. Now before we jump into the design and 3D model of this tulip light, please remember to support this channel by liking this video and subscribing for more. Now with that, let me tell you a little bit more about the design of this project. Here's a 3D model of the tulip light. You can start to see the resemblance between this project and the funnel light project from my previous video. The way that this project is designed is very similar. It has two frames. At the top, there's this larger frame with a large opening at the center that will allow some of the light to spill out of the top while also providing additional support for the light fixture. At the bottom here, you'll see that there's another circular frame with a center cutout for the light bulb to be installed. This light fixture will be installed onto a table lamp base that I have and you'll see that come together later in this video. All of the panels are shaped organically. The idea is to have all of these panels come together so that they start to create what looks like a tulip. The way that it's designed is it has a simple curve at the bottom that goes all the way up to the top. Once it reaches the top, I really wanted to maintain this curved corner and I wanted it to come down at an angle towards the center of the light fixture. This will create a really beautiful aesthetic by making it look like it's funneling down towards the center of the light fixture itself. You'll see this later on in the video. Now let me show you what this 3D model looks like as you start to walk around it. This will give you a better sense of how this frosted acrylic will start to create this layering effect, which you can start to see here on the left side with all of these panels. As I revolve around the model, you'll see the different layers coming together, which will eventually fade into an opaque panel. As I revolve to the top of this model, you'll start to see that opening with all of the chamfered corners coming down towards the center, creating that beautiful aesthetic that I was talking about that kind of resembles a funnel. It also adds to that organic look that this light has. So now let me show you all of the pieces and how they're going to be laid out on the sheets. Here you'll see the two different frames that I was talking about, as well as the panel and the shape of it. This particular panel will come together and slot into those frames at two points. You can start to see them here at the bottom and at the top of that panel. I'll need 24 of these panels in order to fit on the frame. You'll see all of these notches here for the finger joints to come together. We'll use some of the MaxiCure glue that I showed you in the beginning of the video just to attach the panels to these circular frames. And here you'll start to see all of the different cut files. Here I actually labeled it because my original thought was to make this out of wood, but as I started to design it, I thought it would look a lot better using the frosted acrylic that I have. So here you'll see the two frames accompanied by 24 pieces of the panels. These panels will come together and it'll fill up all of these notches here and the finger joints will help us align all of the panels so that they look exactly like this 3D model that I was showing you earlier. Now let me show you what this looks like in Adobe Illustrator, which is the software that I like to use to set up all of my files before I send them off to my laser cutter. Here in Adobe Illustrator, I like to lay out all of my sheets to the exact size of the cutting bed of my laser cutter. You can see here that I have the two frames laid out on their own sheet. This is because I can only fit eight of those panels on one sheet and there's no more room to fit any of these circular frames. I'll need a total of four sheets of the frosted acrylic for this project. One sheet will be dedicated to these two circular frames and the other three will be dedicated to cutting eight panels. 
Now that we've gone over the design, the 3D model, and have all of the pieces laid out on sheets ready to be laser cut, it's time to jump into the next step, which is setting up my Glowforge laser cutter and cutting out all of the pieces to be assembled. Before we jump into that step, please remember to support this channel by liking this video and subscribing for more. Now with that, let me show you how all of the pieces are laser cut and assembled, and then I'll show you what the final product looks like. So that's how I design and make this acrylic tulip light. I love how this project came out, especially the way that the light is diffused through all of the panels, and I also like how you can see the different layers that come together because of the slight angle of all of the panels installed onto the frame. 
I also love the very top of this light, where all of the panels are slightly angled, going towards the center, towards the light fixture itself. This was a fun project to make, and I just wanted to take a moment to mention that working with acrylic isn't always easy, especially working with acrylic that's about 3 millimeters thick. When you're starting to work with these intricate kind of light fixtures, it can be hard to work with acrylic because the acrylic is brittle and it can break. So be careful when you start working on your own acrylic projects. Now with that, I'd love to know what you think of this project. So let me know in the comment section below and remember to support this channel by liking this video and subscribing for more like it.